welcome to Chi Talk. Today is uh, part one of a five part series on weight management. Now before I get into the details of today's talk, I would like to mention a few things and that is it's very important to, um, to, to do things on, on a regular basis, small things rather, on a regular basis over a long period of time uh, to give you the results that you want. And, I mean, it's not the big things uh, uh, that usually, you know, have the biggest changes uh, most of the time. So it's those small things. You know, obviously, what we want is the result, not the action. Or at least I hope that's that's what you're after. Anyways, so with that being said, you also have to make sure that uh, uh, it makes sense. And and common sense is that it's something that you understand and you will then follow through as a result of. So if it's something that you understand, you'll be more likely to continue because this isn't a fad or a trend or some kind of gimmick. This is uh, more of a lifestyle change, if you will. And by looking at it that way, you're more likely to follow through and, and get those results that you want. So uh, what I'm going to talk today about is uh, body work and how body work is fundamental to maintaining a healthy weight and or losing any excess weight that you, you have and, and keep it off. Now, there are three things that, uh, that we do here at the clinic and, and one is acupuncture, two, twain massage and three, energy work or tongan therapy. And these three modalities work very well together uh, to help open up blockages. And what that means basically is that specific areas within the body will relate to specific functions. And for example, if you have, uh, you, you may have, you know, sluggish digestion, you may have a hormonal imbalance, or you may have uh, blood sugar levels that are off balance, or maybe an emotional eating that's causing you to, to, to gain weight or not lose the weight. And so, uh, it may be a combination of all those factors. So, we need to address the client's uh, blockage, and by doing that, we then open up that system and those systems when they're running or working more effectively then the body can do what it needs to do and therefore maintain a healthier weight. Now, uh, weight uh, or, or being overweight or, or struggling with weight is not a disease but it can lead to certain problems. Okay, So we want to be proactive not reactive and so I think that's very very important um, because we know that you know high blood pressure or uh, being overweight can relate to high blood pressure, can relate to uh, high blood sugar levels and you know high cholesterol levels. So these are simple things that we can uh, stay on top of to avoid those things. Okay, so it's very important. Now uh, I think that uh, uh, the acupuncture is is a good modality to relax the the tension within the body and at the same time get the energy to function or run more smoothly and then combined with the twain on massage okay is very good physical way to open up those blockages that the acupuncture can't reach and then of course the energy work works at an energetic level to open up those blockages which also assists in relaxing the physical tension so I think combining those three modalities you're going to get the best results um, now it is very important to work with the body first. I think that working, the, that there's a fundamental element there by opening up blockages before you start to do things like uh, eliminate foods or add foods and whatnot. It really is, I think, important to work with opening up the blockage first. And um, uh, th this is something that you need to do on a, on a weekly basis or even a monthly basis. So to get the, the, the most lasting result. Now, uh, there, you, you've heard the saying, um, uh, an ounce of prevention is worth more than a pound of cure and so that's what I'm trying to uh, basically instill in this in this topic here because in ancient China it was very interesting that they would not get paid uh, the physicians per se would not get paid when people were ill they'd only get paid when people were well now I don't know how that would work in today's society but their emphasis was on on, on prevention and how they did that was by teaching people uh, lifestyle changes and uh, it wasn't just treatments per se but it was also teaching them what to eat what to do as well and uh, that I think is the, the fundamental flaw with today's society so that's why I tell you we have a five part series and this is going to be part one and part two is going to be on what not to eat 
rather than what to eat. And uh, part three is going to be on superfoods. And then part four is going to be on tea and chi. And then part five is going to be on uh, qigong or pigu in particular. So I hope that was informative and we'll see you next time on Chi Talk.